What are you doing, Jake? Huh? Huh? So we're doing the chandelier of the green script bottles for medical marijuana. That's loud. For medical marijuana, take two. Um, so I've got all the calculations in my phone. Uh, it's gonna take a minute. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Shout out to Gorilla Glue. Send me some product or something, guys. Anyway. The whole key to this stuff is wet the area with something damp, like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, one hand. Anyway, if you dampen it first, and clamp it especially, because this stuff apparently, um, I don't know if anybody's gone over this or not, but if you've ever dicked with uh, expandable foam, like the foam in a can, the yellow can foam, uh, great foam, it goes by a bunch of different names depending on where you get it. But if you've ever dicked with that stuff, like as soon as you spray it out, if you get it on you, that tacky shit that gets all over you and gets in your clothes and never fucking ever comes out. And that basically what gives great foam the ability to stick to any surface you apply it to. It's this. Um, I think what the guy did was somebody was dicking around with great foam. Somebody like me probably, or you, who knows. And realize that this shit was super, super sticky if you could just remove the uh, part that makes it foam up. Because if, you if you've ever bought like great stuff, gap sealer, it foams out even more than the regular foam does. Obviously, they just adjust the part that makes, um, makes more bubbles. You know what I mean? The carbonation effect or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, so... This stuff is essentially the opposite, the complete opposite of the gap filler. It makes no bubbles. Um, it will, to some degree, bubble up, and that's why it says to clamp your project together. Um, because that way it won't push apart or deform. So uh, we're going to figure something out for how to do that. Maybe tape or something. But you wet the area, you apply a little bit of this. And then it's stuck together fucking you'll break this before you'll get that apart most likely all right so that's the uh, bottom of you know, it'll be good. You, you know what I mean it's gonna get flipped so yeah uh, that's the beginning that's the uh, first four levels we'll stack them like Legos and then once that's done we go to the rest of them The pig. Uh, this is Gouda, and I'm Wayne. If you have a disability, obviously talk to your doctor. If they are the doctor that you're going to about your disability, they know the steps of the people you need to talk to. Same with the service animal. They have to provide you service, right? They can't deny you service based on the service animal. Right? Same thing with the emotional support animal. However, if the second you walk in the door, the dog starts peeing and pooping and puking and biting people and all that, they have the right to refuse service to anyone. They're now denying you service, not because of the animal, but because of the problem you're causing to their business. Okay? 
same thing goes to the emotional support network. I'm a huge advocate of the med card. If you don't have the red card, go get it. It's stupid simple. All you need is an address and a Colorado ID. Thanks for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, if you guys have any questions about emotional support network, just take a call and talk to me afterwards. Thank you, Wayne. Bits and ice cream. What is that? Good lord. Surviving. How about you? Same shit. Same shit, different day, right? Yeah. Right. Thanks, sir. Come on, Pete. I'm only at Arlo for a day and a half, but if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. Very violent eulogy. I like it. <laughs> 